When my mom found out she was pregnant with me, she said it was one of those times when she knew why she was on this earth. The next nine months were something she compares to a flower blooming. My dad compares it to a blimp being inflated. On that warm, slightly sticky July night that I made the transition from fetus to fully fledged crying infant, my head was spotted with choice wisps, God's sign that my hair should never be even. My mom said that I took my sweet time coming out, words she would repeat 13 years later. My grandparents had flown us to town for the occasion, and we still have a tape of all of us bawling, though my piercing whales and blood covered skin stole the stage. When I was a toddler, I ate so many sprinkles that the digestive result looked uncannily similar to a rainbow. The sun was my favorite playmate in childhood. I was never bothered when my skin was left red and raw for the aloe vera to take care of. When I came out at 13 and told my friends the big news, the blank stares clearly expressed that they were less than shocked. I've always had this fear about being vulnerable and helpless. I do whatever I can to wrap myself in protection. I hate the phrase, the real world, mostly because of my terror about what I'll do out in that new frontier. I don't know what I want to be when I grow up, even though the age of a grown-up is fast approaching. When my parents relinquish their slightly tyrannical rule, I'll have more freedom to pursue my bad habits unhindered. At this point, I think my life will start to get a little messy. My 30s and 40s seem like they'll be largely unremarkable. I'll probably be stuck in some job that seemed fascinating and glamorous at the time, but turns out to be quite monotonous. When I'm 50, I hope I'm not struck by male pattern baldness. That would just be the icing on the cake to being old as well. When I have the soul-crushing revelation that half my life has already been lived and spent, I'm positive all the small-level meltdown. As my midlife crisis gets into full swing, I'll quit my stable job and start working Hot Topic because the young will love me. Of course, being around them will depress the hell out of me. As a new member of the class of society named Geriatrics, I will accept my unavoidable and disfiguring aging with a defeated and resigned attitude. As I get old, life will start to go in reverse, starting with the dominant of diapers, only in a bigger size. As a polar opposite of birth throws near, I will reflect upon what I have left behind. My life, this culinary abomination, may not be the most palatable to some, or edible to most, but I'd rather leave a beautiful disaster than a plain, flat burger. Whatever I do leave behind, nature will always take her course, and at some point, I'll completely disappear.